Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. North Carolina State and Clemson are on the field. Kickoff is looming for the Wolfpack and the Tigers. This rivalry is important as these two square off in the textile bowl. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. North Carolina State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. Senior class. Home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. About the 39-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That time, it was the sophomore corner who got in there to make the tackle. Slings it. And he's taken down at the 47. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. for a loss. I think the corner is the toughest position to play in football. You have to be athletic enough to be able to run with wide receivers and willing to be able to come up and make plays like this to be able to stop the run. This is a big time play by a corner showing the versatility to be able to come up and be physical in the run game. From their own 45 yard line. Second down. Quick throw. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Taken back three yards. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. stop there on third and long and that's going to bring up a punting situation great hold by the defense they were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well davis is back to receive davis takes it at the 23 and he makes it out to about the 31 yard line nc state's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense from just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Right around the 44-yard line. 
Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. He makes his way to about the 45. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. Zips it to the back. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Leach on the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. He makes it to the 32 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. This is the ninth play of this drive. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. 15 yard punt. Out of bounds at the 21 yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. yardage and a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay just throws this one away so it's third down now and they're going to need about four to the tight end. He's tackled right around the 30. A pickup of about three. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Coleman awaits the snap. Clemson's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game in five yards. That brings them second and five. Keep it on the ground again. Makes it out to about the 40. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play.
He airs it out. Almost picked off. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, no score here. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Caught out in the open. He's at the 20, and they push him out at the 16-yard line. That's good for a gain of 21 yards. That makes it first and 10. Tight end left, tight end left. Four down, four down. Hey, watch the level, watch the level. Hey, check right, check right. And now he pitches it. Knocked out of bounds at the 16. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. They'll bring him down around the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Second down and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. And he's got all the time in the world. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He makes the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to get you up to date from Eugene. The Cougars unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. The Cougars on top, 14-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Johnson fields it at the 11. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. And he's level at the 49-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. He goes downtown. And he's tackled right away. And 
he's tackled around the one-yard line. point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five play, 71 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. We're even at seven in this one. Davis fields it at the two, and he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. going on that run well, that's a good question I thought for a while he got his directions messed up from their own 22 yard line third down so an empty backfield with five wide receivers Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Brown to punt. Didn't get all of that one. Room around the corner. He's taken down at the 40. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Stop it. No game on the play. That'll bring up third and six. You ain't going nowhere. Hey, check. Five wide. Check by 46. Hey, kill, kill. Check the game. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. And two. Orange three. Orange three. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. can't bring it in. They don't pick up the first down and the ball will change hands. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Jones. Gains about five yards on the play. North Carolina State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. They come out in a five-wide set. He throws right. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he is drilled at the 21-yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. E 
gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 10. Gain of 11 yards. Check, that check. makes it first and 10. Thunder! Thunder! That's the West. That's the West. That's the West. That's the West. Ready! Way 90! And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off. And Touchdown, Pack. on the extra point. Nice five-play, 66-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. So the score now, 14-7. Taken at the five. He's out to the 30. And he's finally brought down at the 35-yard line. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out of the field? Of course, they went for it on fourth down. Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all these games and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal or a punt. First and ten. Ball on the 21. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Play 36 yard drive, and they get it 14 apiece. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20, across the 30, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 47. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. So at the end of the half, we're deadlocked right now at 14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The big fellas on the offensive line dominating this game right now. I mean, the defensive linemen in the pass rush, they've got no shot of having any idea of what's going on with the quarterback. They can't even reach it. Well, you know what? It's nice to be a quarterback that sits back in the pocket and he kind of pats the football once, twice, three times. And then, Reese, he scrambles and runs around because he's bored. That's what he did in the first half. I mean, 
the protection could not have been any better. The quarterback had all day to throw the football. If that doesn't change, it's going to be a long second half. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Davis from the one. Tackle made at the 20. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's out to the 30. Tackle around the 37-yard line. First down. it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Myrick gains around three yards on the run. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. Tight, down, down. Mike 55, Mike 55. E, 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 e. Ready. 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 Tackle made at the 41-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Johnson awaiting the return. It's away. Short punt. Johnson fields it at the 35. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Myrick's talents right now are obvious. He is moving every facet of the game. He's just a natural runner. I mean, you can see when he gets the football in his hands, he knows what to do with it. And today, he's been able to put that out on display. A lot of times, you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. Around the 30-yard line. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. A one-yard loss. Really? Nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 31. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Dog four. Dog. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at about the 21. his way to the 13-yard line. Run left, and he's taken down in the backfield. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. They'll 
wrestle him down in the backfield. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. This is the eighth play of this drive. example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he converts the extra point. So an eight-play, 54-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Coleman has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Brought down at the 27-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he stopped behind the line. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Very good tackle in space. Gain of nine on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. It looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first, but the defense collapsed on him before he could get there. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. It's a short kick. Johnson takes it to 36. They'll bring him down at the 41. NC State's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator's got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Clemson up seven points. Looks middle. Got his back. And down he goes at the 37. Four yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Hey, check my Red two. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. Go Sam. Go Sam. brings it down to the 20 and he's tackled around the 10 yard line and they make the stop around the two yard line Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 21-14, Tigers. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Hey, 
brought down at the two-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Clemson is up seven. Kicks up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he's taken down at the 33. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Mike 55, Mike 55. E, 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 e. He makes it to the 35 yard line. Fights forward to about the 36. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down at the 37 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Tackle at the 48. First down. Tackle made at the 44. Robinson on the tackle at the 44 yard line. That makes it second and six. Just under three to go in regulation. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. Wilson at the tackle at the 31 yard line. First down. Sacked. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. And this play is number eight on the drive. Five wide. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Touchdown, Touchdown, NC State. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He makes the PAT. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's got an opening. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. From the 17-yard line. 
First down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He makes his way out to about the nine. Ward gets eight yards on the play. North Carolina State will have one timeout remaining. NC State's out of timeouts. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop them for a loss of one. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He'll keep it on the ground again. He fights forward to about the 10. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Coleman looks ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Myrick's a guy that we've been talking about for three hours, Kirk, and now he's in the spotlight. Yeah, this is an exciting opportunity here in this football game for this offense. You've got to think that they're going to find a unique way to get the football into his hands. Now it's just a chance defense slowing him down and stopping. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. It was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. He's tackled at about the 41. Under a minute left. He's at the 30, keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. The spike will stop the clock. From the 26-yard line, second down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a gain of eight yards. Check, check. That'll make it third and He's pushed out of bounds at the 16. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. He steps out at the 8. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The crowd of this stadium, always a factor in a football game. Here they come. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. In the shotgun and five wideouts. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down right around the two yard line. Spikes the ball. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 
27-21, Tiger. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Clemson came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.